if the Montreal Canadiens are eliminated from the playoffs, does it make sense to send Nick Suzuki to the AHL for a possible playoff run? I don't think he necessarily should. He's been playing really well in his first year in the NHL, so why not just let him have the offseason to continue focusing on his own training? I don't necessarily know if it's worth it for him to go down to Laval. It would definitely be a huge boost to the team if they want to see how far they could go if they make the playoffs. Uh, but if I was uh, the Montreal Canadiens, I would uh, reward Nick Suzuki for his great first season by giving him the offseason. Yeah, let him finish the year with the Canadians. Let him get some more point totals for the NHL. I, I don't know if he necessarily needs to be at a point now where he needs to play in the American Hockey League. And I know the American Hockey League is a development league and stuff changes all the time. But I kind of like the, the forward core they have going forward right now. And I mean, there's no question I think Suzuki would be playing first line minutes if he was sent down to Laval. But I don't really think you need to send him down there. I, I, would, I would give him the opportunity to go down and play in the playoffs. I think any time... A young kid like that can, you know, uh, can experience something like playoff hockey. I don't care if it's the American League. He's, he's still going to bring something to that dressing room and he's still going to bring, obviously, his talent and skill set uh, to, to make things happen. And he's going to, uh, he's going to have an impact and I think that he should, uh, he should consider going there and, and playing. I think yeah, that's, that's actually a good point. I mean, at least if you give him the option, maybe you ask him if that's something he'd want to do. Maybe going through the first year, you don't know how, you know, if you may feel fatigued, if you may feel run down after the year. He may not feel that way. He may still be feeling that adrenaline. So it might not be a bad idea. I guess you're right. Rick, uh, as a, a former NHL player, do you think sending him down to the AHL could have an adverse effect on his confidence, considering everything he's done in the NHL? Or if he's a professional, you think it won't? No, it work I, I think the success that he's had at the NHL level is going to just uh, probably explode down at the American League level. I think that uh, he he would probably be able to go down there and make some some more great things happen, and I I like the idea of just what he brings to the to the room and the rest of the the, the young guys to to look to him and say, wow, you know, look what he's doing, look how he's working, all the things that go with a a, a good kid like Suzuki, to bring that into the dressing room and, and allow some of those other young guys to see this is what this guy is made of. This is why he's playing at the NHL level. But do you think it would be great for him to kind of make that move, say, later in the year or in time for the playoffs, as opposed to like maybe around now in the trade deadline when you know the se when as the season is starting to get further and further out of reach? Well, I, I think that uh, the results that he's been, uh, you know, doing at the NHL level in all situations warrants him to continue to play at the NHL right through to the end of the year. Um, I. I don't think there was any question that they were going to send him anywhere uh, to the American League the way that he, he has been playing and developing at the NHL level. All right. Go to HockeyInsideOut.com now and check out this week's full episode.